I'm back. Now, watch closely. And magic. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What happened to the color? I got it. That's better. Ta-da. Ha! Yahoo! Yahoo! In here. It's Blocky. Blocky, what are you doing in there? Why, it's simple. I'm waiting to be discovered. <laughs> well, Lucky, if you want to be discovered and break into show business, you shouldn't be hiding in a dressing room. No, no, you don't understand. I'm hiding because the boys and girls keep chasing me to get me Lucky Charms. And I like to play hide-and-seek because when they find me, we all get to share me cereal. Oh, How about you? Would you like some Lucky Charms? I'd love to, but I just finished the last of it this morning. But I can use this empty box to show you another great magic trick that the kids wanted to learn. You can learn, too. You know, sort of magician to leprechaun. Wonderful, lad. Hey! How do you do that? Now, this may be an empty box, but there's still a lot of magic inside. I bet. <laughs> Look, kids, there's me picture on the box. Hey, <laughs> now watch closely. We begin by closing the bottom flap and then close the top flap. And then we say the magic words. Lucky charms. Take a look. Oh, pink like <laughs> hearts. <laughs> oh, orange like stars. Yellow, green, blue, purple. All the colors of the rainbow. That's great. <laughs> oh, Mr. Magician, that's one even I haven't seen. Well, it sure looks like magic, doesn't it? Now, would you like to learn how to do this trick? Uh -huh. I sure would. Me too. Okay. Now, let me show you how that Lucky Charms cereal box production trick works. I'll show you the finished box in just a moment. But here's what we have to do in order to make the box up. First of all, we begin with two boxes that are exactly alike. Now, from the first box, what I do is take a pair of safety scissors and separate the bottom flaps. There's glue holding it together, so separate the bottom flaps. That way, you can fold the box completely flat. I've also removed the very top flap, the one where the other end tucks under. You won't be needing this for the trick at all. Once you've cut off the top flap and flattened out the bottom, put this part aside and go to the other box that you're going to be using. This part is a little trickier because what you're going to do is trim off the front panel of the box, but it's very important that you leave a border about a half an inch around the two sides and the bottom. Now this border, I painted yellow just so you can see here. You don't have to do that, of course, but that is to show you where you place some glue. Now this is ordinary glue that I would place along the two edges and across the bottom. Now be very careful not to get any excess glue on the bottom or the back of either of the boxes. Once the glue is in place, carefully bend those flaps down and position it over the front of the other box. Now it's a good idea to have somebody help you with this because you can use a few extra hands. Once it's in position, you place it down, then it's a good idea to place something on top of it just to help weight it down. I'll use a couple of books in this case. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure the glue doesn't seep out of the sides and get on a tablecloth or a, a wooden table. Once that's set, you can set it aside for about two hours. It'll take a little while for the glue to dry. Uh -huh. When it's finished, your box will look like this. Ah. It looks like an ordinary box, but let me show you what we've done. We've created a hidden pocket in it. See that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very easy. The hidden pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, into that pocket, you can place a variety of items, like these handkerchiefs, or you may want to produce some ribbons, some stamps, just about anything that will fit inside. You can also use this box to cause items to vanish. Now, take a look. Now that the handkerchiefs are inside, this is what it looks like when you look through the box from your end. But to the audience, 
it looks like this. Perfectly empty, huh? <laughs> okay. Now, after you've shown the box empty, close up the flaps and put a little piece of tape right along the bottom side just to hold the bottom closed. Wave your hand over the top, say the magic words, Lucky Charms, and when you reach inside, take a look. You're really pulling out the scarves from that top pocket. That's kind of a fun trick, isn't it? Yeah. An amazing and colorful trick. Now, it's a fairly simple trick, but we've been doing a lot of tricks today. Let me ask you, of all of the tricks in magic, which one is your very favorite? I like when people appear from nowhere. I like it when they disappear. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucky.